Let's talk about how to use SmartScore uh, X2 Pro, that's the latest version, to read PDF files and create music XML that we can import directly into Overture 5 to greatly uh, ease the process of taking uh, printed music, if you have a PDF for it, and getting it in to Overture. Now, uh, I have IMSLP up here because we'll go and try and find some public domain music, almost, almost all of which is in PDF format already on IMSLP, though to various degrees of clarity. And for this program to work best, you really want to have a very clear PDF file with well-defined uh, staves and uh, articulations and other things that are not blurry. So let's just go find something. Uh, let's say you're writing some early 20th century jazz-like uh, score, and maybe the director is asking for some ragtime music of the period. So let's go search for Joplin. Uh, it worked for Marvin Hamlish in The Sting. Maybe it can work for us. And now I've, uh, we can find Joplin and bring up his page. I've paid the $22 a year to get instant access to everything on IMSLP, which to me is one of the best deals going. You can still get everything for free, but some of the newer things that are added, you might have to wait a few days and then you get constant ads whether you want to make this donation. So pay the $22 and uh, get access to everything. Now, uh, okay, let's take a look at some of Joplin's rags that are here. Uh, we don't want to do something that's really well known, so we'll stay away from uh, the Maple Leaf rag and the lead syncopations, uh, pineapple rag, that's pretty well known. What about uh, this weeping willow? Okay, so we'll click on that and then I'll find a score. Now I see there's two versions of this. One is that's scanned in from some uh, uh, Dover publication and one that somebody actually input. So I can I can tell uh, that this, this newer one that someone used a notation program for is probably going to be a pretty clean score, and it is. So I'll go and I'll save that to the area that I'm working with right now. Um, and now I'm ready to <clears throat> bring up my program. So now that I've saved my score, right, uh, I have Overture 5 already up and waiting for me. And now what I'll do is I'll bring up Smart Score. Now I uh, just upgraded for $99 to this latest version. I think they also have uh, a version that only does the XML to music. Uh, the, or only does the uh, PDF to music XML. Uh, this thing does more. It scans in and it also allows you to uh, translate MIDI files to uh, music XML and, and in the ENF file format. But almost all DAWs and notation programs now can deal with the MIDI. What we want to do is take the PDF. And to be honest, these, uh, this program is... Um, under some uh, s some scrutiny, it was integrated into Finale before, but they Finale decided not to use uh, this kind of program because they were getting too much pressure from composers and and publishers uh, for copyright reasons. So what we'll first do is, since uh, we already scanned in the music per se, because we have a PDF of it, and you'd, pr you'd probably scan it in. Um, and if you do scan it in, you might want to scan it into TIFF, because that's what this program actually creates. So I'll recognize the scan, and I'll try and find the file that I'm looking for. So Joplin, um, Weeping Willow, and I'll load that up, and it loads it in. All right. And it tries to create this TIFF file from it, 
because uh, the program is a little outdated. You can see the uh, user interface is a little old and clunky. This thing's been around for quite a while. And now it gives you the option when you bring this thing in to uh, select a light to dark range. And we'll just keep it at what it thinks is this selected good nominal value. But if you import it to Music XML and you find that it looks a little bit uh, funny, uh, uh, then try going a little lighter, going a little darker. That can somehow help. Right? Now, this program is not going to be exact. It's not going to take your score and uh, give you an exact translation in most cases. Sometimes it nails it perfectly, but more often than not, you're going to have to do some manipulation in, in uh, Overture 5 to fix things up a bit. But certainly, I mean, you can see this thing here. It's got a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of syncopations in it, as we'd expect in a rag. It's got a lot of notes that are, you know, a lot of chords close area to each other. And if I wanted to try and put this in a system myself either by playing it if I could if I had the chops to play this at the speed at the speed that I want um, or uh, notate it uh, by hand which could take a long time too uh, this program can greatly speed things up so we'll keep it at its default uh, setting and we'll say okay now the next thing we uh, do is go and uh, do recognition now it's asking me do I want to save this file. I don't really need to save it. I mean, it's already saved the TIFF, so I don't care about that. And then it's smart enough to actually break this thing up into the pages of the uh, thing that you scanned in or your PDF file. So if you have a PDF file with a lot of uh, header information at the beginning, you can choose not to incorporate those pages. Or if you have a 100-page score and you only want a few pages of it, you can uh, just uh, scan in or recognize the pages you want. So now that say begin recognition and it'll go through this internal process that it uses on its TIFF file and it'll go through and try and recognize uh, the file and put it in notation. Now this program also has its own notation format that's used for other things and it can hook up to uh, Garrett and sound libraries and automatically play things but we don't care about that. What we care about is this bottom part which is what it actually uh, translated. So what I'll do is I'll OK out of that, and then I can save the file into various formats. I can save this notated file into MIDI. So hey, this, that's nice. Maybe you could take your PDFs and create MIDI files from them. But we want to save it um, an ENF and NIF, but we want to save to XML. So we'll just save that. All right. Done. All right, we'll close out of there. We're done with this program. And what we want to do is in our Overture 5, import that file. Now, Overture 5 has some big problems importing large uh, music XML files and even some smaller ones I've found. So there might be some music XML constructs that are causing problems for Overture 5. And I've uh, submitted a number of bug reports about this to them. So I'll go import and find my Weeping Willow. And it doesn't crash, so I'm in good shape here. It's going to bring my score up. And hey, look at that. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, this one almost nailed it completely. You'll find you're going to have to maybe, it does recognize uh, some dynamic markings. It'll leave some things out. Uh, it didn't recognize the title. We can add, you know. A title in there and uh, let's just quick scan through here and <laughs> I mean can you imagine doing this yourself how long it would take that took us like seconds and sometimes you'll see here it it, it, it has problems with some slurs occasionally you'll have to take those and either delete them if you don't want them or uh, move them around and deal with them in some other way that you want but you can see that Holy cow, some more slur issues here. But in general, this seemed to really just nail it. Oh, holy cow. And then what I can do, obviously, I'm only on my laptop. I don't really have my good sounds here. I can go in, and obviously, I want to save this thing and uh, 
go in and I noticed uh, that when these things are imported, uh, sometimes it, cr it creates quite a number of channels uh, for some strange reason. I don't know whether that's because the music XML is created with that or somehow Notion, uh, not Notion, sorry, uh, Overture 5 is actually uh, creating all those channels. Um, I'll have to look at the music XML to verify whether it's a problem in uh, Overture 5 or not. So I've uh, uh, set all my tracks up and let's just, uh, this is the default Overture 5 piano. That, 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 that's working really well. So that's all there is to it. I saved my file and I saved myself probably two to three hours of work, maybe, depending upon how well I uh, can input right now into Overture 5. Now, let me, let me just warn you, if I had a big orchestral score that I'm trying to put in or a score that's a little bit uh, hazy on the PDF, this can create a lot of garbage uh, to the point where it's not really even useful. But for other applications like this, you can see uh, it's hard for $99 if that's what the, it costs to just get the version that can uh, translate PDF to XML. Uh, that's a heck of a heck of a cheap way to save a lot of your time.